What's your problem, buddy? What's your problem? I gave you a list of like how many new, we still into 30, 40 places. The first five places we go to, not one of them from my list. Whatever, I'm fine. What's going on? How are you guys today? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at a particular establishment. Today, for some reason, we're at a diner. I don't know. Like, maybe we're testing if a diner can actually have a decent cheeseburger. But you said this place was very popular. Did your boyfriend live here? Is that why? One of your many boyfriends? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Oh, they wrapped the pickle in saran wrap. That's clever. All right. I will say, all of the diner fries have been like very similar. They're like mediocre, okay. These fries get a six. Not as good as the other diner fries. So we got some type of hockey puck. What do they take like, um, they took like a plastic grid on there and then some brown spray paint and just shh and warms it out of the microwave. What do they do, Rio? Is that how they made your diner burger? Rio, honestly, what, do you, what score do you think this is gonna get? Look at it. What score do you think it's gonna get? A generic sesame bun, American cheese. Yeah, if, if I give this a 9.6, a decent looking girl might actually walk by me. Hey, that's for a temperature. I'm trying to figure out how low I want to go. 3.7. If I was really hungry, like I haven't eaten in two days, not one day, like two days haven't eaten, didn't know where McDonald's was, I might get this burger. 3.7, Murray Hill Diner. Sorry. If you guys do want an actual high quality burger, you can go to Frankie's Free Range Meat.com to get our custom best burger blend, as well as a variety of high quality cheeses to pair with your burger to make a delicious meal for yourself and your family. Frankie's Free Range Meat.com. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you for the next review.